Google aims to build products that work for everyone. And that's why Google has developed Realtone. Let's explore what that is. With Realtone, portraits taken on pixel represent the nuances of different skin tones beautifully and authentically. Too often, folks with darker complexions are not photographed accurately, appearing darker, brighter or more washed out than in real life. By acknowledging historical and continued racial bias in photography towards people of colour, Google is committed to producing authentic photos of people of all skin colours, no matter the app or feature. But how did we get to this point in the first place? Where do these biases come from? Let's take a step back and explain why Google decided to develop Realtone. Racial biases in photography exist because tech like camera sensors, processing algorithms and editing software were all trained on data sets that use light skin as the baseline and don't account for the wide range of skin tones. Yep. And this bias has lingered for decades because these technologies were never adjusted for those with darker skin. In 2020, Google began looking for ways to change this and partnered with a range of industry experts to make photography more equitable and improve how skin tones are represented. Absolutely. You don't have to toggle it on. It's enabled out of the box and first appeared on Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Mm -hmm. That's right. And for Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, accuracy and representation have been improved. And the technology has been expanded to more camera modes, including portrait mode and low light photography. Realtone isn't just a feature, but a partnership with image experts who've spent their careers beautifully and accurately representing communities of color. But how was it developed? Google focused on six core areas to make Pixel's most inclusive camera. Let's explore each one. To make a great portrait, your phone must first see a face in the picture. So Google trained the face detection models to recognize more diverse faces in broader lighting conditions. Auto white balance models help determine color in a picture. Our partners helped us hone these models to better reflect a variety of skin tones. Similarly, Google changed the auto exposure tuning to balance brightness and ensure your skin looks like you. Highlights in an image can make darker skin tones look washed out, so Google developed an algorithm to reduce its negative effects on your pictures. Getting a sharp portrait in dim light shouldn't depend on how you look, so Google significantly cut down the blur for people with darker skin tones in night sight portraits. Experts also helped Google improve the auto-enhanced software in Google Photos. So you can achieve a beautiful representative photo regardless of when you took the photo or which device you used. Now, making photography more inclusive isn't a problem that's solved in one go. It's a mission Google's committed to. Recently, Google partnered with Dr. Ellis Monk, who studied how skin tone impacts people's lives for over a decade. One of the results of Dr. Monk's research is the Monk Skin Tone Scale, a 10-shade scale that has been incorporated into various Google products. The scale has also been made public, paving the way for more accurate algorithms and better representation of skin tones in photography across the industry. Mm -hmm. Google continues to partner with experts, listen to feedback, and invest in tools and experiences that work for everyone. This is a mission, not a moment. Because everyone deserves to be seen as they are. Now smile, bro. Oh. Remember to like and subscribe.